Right, we are heading to Tauranga today, taking delivery of the new milling machine. Kind of exciting, actually that's a lie, it's fantastically exciting. We got the vise here that I showed in a previous video the other day, we gotta load that up, take that over with us. Right, at the new workshop, waiting for the delivery of the milling machine, which is on its way down from Auckland right now. The guy should be here any minute, so I'm gonna go and wait out on the road, flag him down just in case you can't find this workshop, because it's kind of tucked away at the back a little bit. This is the beast here. Short here. There we go. A little bit nervous to be honest, like always apprehensive of sort of unloading equipment until it's like safe and secure on the floor, then I can like rest and go and have lunch. But yeah, time to get it off I think. Right, so Marty, the truck driver, is gone. Um, he was very professional, actually. It's good. Last time we did a move, we moved the water jet cutter, and the guy had only been doing it a month, and it was a, uh, you know, been lifting things with his truck. He was, he was new to it, and it was, it was scary. It was kind of scary. So since then, since then, I've been a little bit apprehensive, but this guy was good. So thank you, Marty. Um, I can rest now. I can finally sort of rest. Um, this is the machine. I'm showing it to you just now because we got a lot of light. Like once we get it in there, there probably won't be that much light. So yeah, this is the this is the beast here. You'll obviously be seeing a, a lot more of this, a lot, lot more of this as we sort of um, start making stuff. Right, we've just taken it in a little bit just now. It's a little bit trickier to get the pallet truck in there than I thought. So we've just moved it in. That way we can close this door. I'm gonna get some lunch and we'll like think about a sort of a plan of attack for, for getting it fully in the workshop. That is the milling machine in, the door closed. It's uh it's kind of exciting, kind of scary and apprehensive, feeling apprehensive because you know I think it's been a while since I've learned some new thing complete from scratch like milling is such an unbelievably complex thing or can be um just the amount of knowledge just with sort of seeing other people and talking with my machinist for a couple of years and just you know the problems that we'd have machining the stuff we do in in titanium and well you know admit admittedly um the stuff we do is you know we kind of push boundaries quite a lot um so maybe that's you know it's not simple stuff but still um 
yeah, I think I'm just talking for the sake of talking now. So what I will do is leave this machine here. We're gonna, we're gonna sort of, I don't know, I think we'll move it down here. Uh, we're thinking, I don't know if you see the size of this place, but we're thinking of putting it here. This tray here is part of this machine here. Um, it's an old scrappy tray, it's meant to collect water, whatever. Gonna dump it. So I think the milling machine will go there. That way we can get around it, there's an electrical cabinet, that kind of thing. But I think that is it for today. Tomorrow, a bit more of that. Maybe do some spinner stuff, that kind of thing. I will leave you with a quote. It is by Henry Ford. And he said, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that an aeroplane takes off against the wind, not with it.